here is the meal plan for this week. So super simple. I'm just trying to use up what I have in my pantry. So I really don't have a big grocery haul this week. But stay tuned for my vlog because I do have a pretty big grocery haul in that vlog for my daughter's birthday party. So from Monday, we're going to do subs with broccoli and chips. Tuesday, nachos with corn, fruit, and dip. Wednesday, personal pizzas with zucchini chips, veggies, and dip. And then Thursday, I'm actually going out to eat with my best friend, so I'm going to make the kids and my husband tuna mac and cheese. Here is an overview. We will start down here. So I am usually very upfront and honest with you guys about what's going on in my life, and if you watch my vlogs, you know that. So I am struggling with lunches, and I know that I just posted that video about like all the lunches and stuff that I've been doing, but the fact of the matter is... I get bored and I get burnout super easily, especially when it comes to lunch. So I decided to do a little bit of research and I got a bunch of freezer meals for um, lunch. So I'm going to try these out. I'm going to see what I like. And then if I like, if I find stuff that I do like, then I can just keep repurchasing it. But the thing about these frozen meals is they're usually not enough to sustain you. So um, when I do have them, I'll just pair them with like fruits and vegetables and dip or, you know, whatever, just to give me something else or like cottage cheese or, you know, just making sure that I get enough protein in my meals. But I did want to try some frozen stuff. So we're going to start over here. So I got this um, white cheddar mac and cheese. This is probably something that I would pair with um, some chicken nuggets, like the Purdue um the Purdue chicken that I really like. So I would probably just put that on top. And then you could also do like buffalo chicken or barbecue chicken or, you know, whatever. But I wanted to have like some kind of base and it has 18 grams of protein. So I thought that was pretty good. I also got this blackened chicken Alfredo. They have a shrimp version as well, but I'm really not a fan of shrimp. So um, I wanted to try the chicken Alfredo and it has 21 grams of protein. The Stouffer's, okay, so we tried the meatloaf for dinner one time, very recently actually, and it was so, so good. If you've not tried the meatloaf from Stouffer's, definitely try it. It just has like a good flavor. So um, I wanted to try some of their stuff. So I got lasagna with meat sauce, and this is 22 grams of protein. I got the meatloaf with mashed potatoes, 23 grams of protein. This is a substitution. I got the chicken, but they substituted with um, turkey, which is fine. I think it'll be good too. This is 18 grams of protein. Salisbury steak and mac and cheese, 23 grams. And then spaghetti for 19 grams. So yeah, I know some of you guys are interested in that, but I know that there's kind of a big hype about protein going around. So that's, that's what I'm eating mostly is protein, trying to get more fiber in, just things like that. So if you want to know more about that, um, watch my vlogs because I go into way more detail in my vlogs. So anywho, moving on, um, I was out of yogurt for the kids, so I got them some more. I've been trying not to buy them like pantry snacks because they go through the pantry snacks so fast and it just infuriates me because groceries are so expensive and my kids have zero fucks given. So which, you know, they're kids, they don't need to worry about that kind of stuff, but if I'm going to buy them snacks, I'm trying to buy them stuff that is better for them, so they like Gogurt, they like string cheese, I keep that in my fridge at all times, um, they like mandarin oranges, which I have at all times, apples, which I have, so just things like that, I try to encourage them to go to the fridge before they go to the pantry, so anyway, I got some more yogurt, cottage cheese is one of those things that I keep on hand all the time, I have it with breakfast, lunch, dinner, Whatever I need, it's a very good thing to have whenever you're just needing more protein. So I got some more. So a lot of the stuff that I got this week was for my husband. He recently started a new job and he has been spending a crap ton of money going to the gas station. So when I went through the bank account last weekend, I was like, okay, where, what is this for? What are you buying when you go to the store? Because it's like repeated purchases, you know? So I asked him and I was like, I'm going to get this stuff for you from Walmart and you're just going to take it. To work with you so you don't have to stop for one and you're not spending a ton of money so so chicken cheese biscuits is what he's been buying along with some donuts which i'll show you in just a second so i'm gonna give that to him fair life chocolate milk so this is what i use for my coffee it does have less sugar 
more protein and actually one cup of this is 13 grams of protein. So when I drink my um, protein coffee in the morning, I'm getting 13 grams of protein plus the 30 grams that my protein powder has. So I'm getting 33 grams of protein first thing in the morning and it's just an easy way. And this chocolate milk is delicious. It's literally the best chocolate milk I've ever had. So highly recommend and the uh, regular milk is good too if you don't like chocolate milk. On that same train of thought, I just need some more fiber. So um, I figure this is an easy way to get some fiber in. So I got some fiber bars, nine grams of fiber. And then these, I don't know how much these have. Um, see, look at me looking at nutrition labels. Uh, five grams of protein, which, or five grams of fiber, which isn't fantastic, but you know, it is what it is. I also have some tuna in my pantry that I want to use. I'm probably going to make tuna salad for the weekend. So I wanted to go ahead and get some bread. So we have that on hand. This is my favorite bread right now. It's so delicious. It's so soft, 45 calories per slice. It is a little bit expensive, but, um, honestly I could freeze half of this and it would be fine. But anywho. These are the donuts I was talking about. My husband has been stopping to get donuts at the gas station every morning along with his breakfast sandwich. So I'm like, you can take this to work. And this was like a quarter of the price. So it's just ridiculous. Um, to go with our nachos, I got some taco seasoning. I'm trying to reduce sodium. And then for our dinner tonight, it's actually Monday when I'm filming this. We had a busy weekend, so I didn't get to get groceries this weekend. But um, I got some Cool Ranch Doritos for the kids. That's their favorite. And then my husband, for his lunches, I'm planning just to pack him sandwiches. So I figure um, chips, oatmeal cream pie, and then I'll share with you. Um, but I figure just some chips would be good for him in the variety pack so he can get something different every day. And I love the Great Value variety pack. It's such a good bang for your buck. Oatmeal cream pies, he prefers the Nutter Buddies, Nutty Buddies, Nutter Bars, whatever the heck they are. Um, but they didn't have them, so oatmeal cream pie. We were out of salsa, so I got some more salsa for nacho night. This is what I'm going to be using for the kids and my husband for their sandwiches. Um, these are just the non-rounds. I have pizza sauce and everything I need in the fridge already for pizza. And I will use my zero-carb tortillas for that. Um, we were all out of parchment paper, so I got some more. I use this a ton. I've also been loving the Kodiak um, pancakes for breakfast. I've... I've just been loving them so much. So I went ahead and got some sugar-free syrup, mainly because the maple syrup, I'm not a fan of it. I've come to, to learn that I'm just not a fan of it. And you can try and try things like that that you think is healthier for you. At the end of the day, if you don't like it, you're not going to eat it. And so that's kind of what I'm finding. So I went ahead and just got sugar-free syrup. We were all out of milk. I got two gallons of milk. Um, my husband also requested some Gatorade for his lunches, and then I also got a Sam's Cola for him. So, that was everything today. Small grocery haul, but it'll last us a while, especially all those freezer meals will probably last me two weeks, because I only work four days a week. Um, and then the other days, I just kind of figure it out. If you've watched my vlogs, you know. So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This was about $160, but I did get some non-food um, stuff too for family pictures, which I'll probably share with you um, in an upcoming vlog. So anywho, hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Other than that, see you in my next one. Bye.